There we are. <clears throat> Not really sure if you guys can hear me. I don't see my chat. So let's see. James will be flagging. Potentially hold. Uh, let's see. So let's see. Anyone there? <laughs> The only thing I don't like, if you're watching over on YouTube, I am just going to chit-chat for a few minutes, waiting for people to come in. Uh, I don't see anybody on yet. Hello, out there. <laughs> uh, oh, there's Dar. Hi, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Hi, Elizabeth. Hi, Linda. Uh, can you guys hear me? I'm doing good, Shona. How are you? I'm not sure you can hear me. Oh, you can hear me. Great. Thank you very much. <laughs> Here we are. Deborah. Hello, Deborah. <laughs> you can see and hear me. Very good. Thank you very much. All right. So let me get going. I um, I only have, um, I just got in like, an hour ago, so I'm really not really sure what I want to do. There, Jean. Hi, Jean. I couldn't remember what you said about once you clicked into the community settings, if I was supposed to do something. I don't know. I couldn't remember. Uh, hi, Joan. Kimberly. I hope I said Kimberly already. All right. So I'm going to work on my Dilutions, uh, not my Dilutions, my Dina Wakely book. So, and like I said, I'm not quite knowing what exactly what I'm going to do because I just walked in about an hour ago. I was out dropping Gap out of the ferry, and then I had to – I went to my sister-in-law's, so then just scoffed down dinner, and then here I am. <laughs> so I did print out some of these, and I'm going to start to use some of my stamps that I have in under live stream, stream options low, if you're not – Set in last week, it will stay. Oh, I don't know. I couldn't see that part. Stream options. It doesn't come up on mine. When I do the streams options, it just wants to check for my microphone. That's the only thing I can see. Hey, Mitzi. <laughs> um, so I'm going to work with these stamps tonight. So these are from Christine Adolph. So this one is the Florabella number one. This one is Daisy May. This one is Flesh, Fresh Flowers 2. I've had them for, I, don't know, I think they came out like two years ago. I never used them. So I printed them out on wash on watercolor paper. Oh, thanks. Thanks, Jean. <laughs> Hi, Sharon. Uh, so I printed them out. I don't know how much we'll use. And then I also printed out, oh, I have to go get it. Oh, darn it. I printed out. I stamped, I keep saying printed, I stamped out um, the Frida from uh, Dina. I gotta go get those, so I think I did those. When we get to that part, I'll go get them. Um, and I did get these new stencils. These are from All and Create. So this one is, to say number 10, you can see that there, number 10. This one is number 28. This reminds me of yours, Jean, like I have. And this one's number 13. So I'll get used to the, the camera <laughs> backwards. So we might use those. And I actually put my, what kind of printer takes watercolor paper? I use um, the 90 pound weight and I put that through my printer and it, it takes it. So you just have to test your printer. Um, but the, the 90 pound weight is thin enough so I put it, I just use the 90 pound weight. I wouldn't put anything thicker than that, um, even in my printer. And I have just a, um, oh, an HP printer. So, yeah, 90 pounds. That's the only thing I use. I wouldn't use anything heavier than that. Yeah. All right. So I did take my watercolors. These are my Jane Davenport watercolors. And I, Sharon? Um, actually combine the two palettes. This is the bright palette and the neutral palette, and I actually put the combine it into one. So I need my. Why don't I do that? So I'm not going to use. I don't think I'm going to use my Jane's tonight. I'm going to use um, 
I actually have two palettes. I have the one like Patty had. If you saw her stream where she showed the Schminky Limited Edition. So she gets the, got these off of Etsy. And um, hers stuck a lot, but they had suggested that if you put them in the freezer because of being summertime now and the watercolors might kind of melt, to put them in the freezer and then this way they'll harden up about 15 minutes before you're going to unwrap them. And I didn't have any problem of taking mine out. They were fine. So this is the schminky ones. The And I added a couple other ones in there. And you, so you could see, I don't know if you could see the iridescence. Oh, yeah, you can see them. They're really bright. Uh, I like them because they're on the white paper. So it's hard to see with that glare. But So we might use these. Hi, Norma. <laughs> um, and then I have this palette here that I created from, um, I watch, I should have wrote her name down. <laughs> Thanks, Kimberly. Her name is Irit. Irit, I think it is. I-R-I-T. I have to get her last name. I'll um, link it in the description. But she does mostly pink and purples. I really like her palette. I really like the way she does her watercolors. So I'm going to try to do something like hers tonight. So and I have the names and stuff like that underneath. So I'll get, I have a brush. And then I have Patty's in here too, the rose gold. I actually put that in there. I really should have put the names on them now that I'm thinking about it. But I do have them on a card. But you can see how pretty that looks. Yeah, she's on YouTube, and she has her color selections. So if you want to go on YouTube and actually follow her color select selections for her palette, you can see that on her YouTube channel. Yeah, I am um, I follow her on um, Patreon. She's the only one I actually do because I love her girl faces. So I do follow her there. I don't think I have enough room. <laughs> Let me see. I'm going to have to put this somewhere else. My water. I was looking for a stencil I really wanted to use tonight. Of course, I couldn't find it. Where's Eileen tonight? Um, so I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to. I gotta move these probably. I actually put this down so it takes away the glare. I should probably just take this mat out because it's too glare. You can see the shininess of the white. It's too glary like. All right, let me see. I just don't, like, I don't have enough room to put everything. And I've never watercolored in this um, book. Um, I'll go through just what I've done. So we're going to try to watercolor, see what it looks like. Elizabeth is on print. Oh, it's talking to her. All right, so let me see. Maybe I can put my palette here this I did get two books too but I've ever seen them Dee Dee worked it actually wasn't Dee Dee it was um what's her first daughter's name um I can't, top of my head I can't think of it she actually worked in the mermaid coloring books I actually got the mermaid coloring book all right so let's see so I think you could still see that there right kind of yeah, there this way I can open up my book all the way Yeah, so you can see that. It looks so much bigger on the screen compared to how much room I actually have on my desk. So this was one of the very first pages I worked on. No, it's a YouTube channel on that. You can see that? Oh, my dream is backwards. It is backwards. <laughs> I think that was on, is it this side? Maybe it was on this side. Or it's on this side. I'll have to fix it. And we also did this. And then, oh, I have some markings already on watercolor paper. I actually did this. This is one of my favorite ones. This is one with the scribble sticks. Hi, Ella. <laughs> Are you back home now? She was lucky enough to go see Frank Garcia's studio. It looked really cool. I love his new cards. Um, let's see what else did we do. Did we work on this page? No. This is her work here. Um, so this is her painted faces. If you belong to her Patreon, you actually get the printables. She came out with one this uh, month for July, and it looks like a Barbie doll kind of face. It looks really cool. But see, she uses a lot of this, the purple blues. I really like that combination. I wouldn't think I would have liked purple as much, but 
after watching her, I kind of like it. And we also did this. And I did that one. <laughs> His studio's beautiful. He wanted to stay there all day, I bet. But how come he wasn't there? So who taught his class? You didn't take class from him? I love this layout, too. This was a cool layout. And this is with the foil. Same thing from this girl who does the stamps that we're going to use tonight, Christine Adolph. She created those foils for Prima. Uh, let's see. This. I'm not wild about this page. <laughs> Just like this. It's all right. Uh, all right. So let's go to two watercolor papers. Let's go, like, right here. Yeah, the Christmas cards look really good. Are you going to do those? His uh, new line with Santa. I'm going to get paper towel. What's, what is that one called? Santa Baby? I can't remember what it is. Christmas line. It's a lot of pinks. I might do that for my nephews. Um, the one I just did the little baby, the Mer Mini album for. Oh, there was no class? Oh, you did. Oh, for the shop hop. Got you. Oh, Frank was out of town teaching. Yeah, probably. All right, so I think I'm going to, I need a spritzer so I can wet my palette here. Here we go. So let me just do that first real quick. Hi, Debbie. <laughs> so, well, so let me show you the two books I got first before we get going. I'm going to look at that time to settle in. So I did get the mermaid book. You guys have seen that. Dee Dee and what's her daughter's first name, Jean? God, it's like slipping my mind. Cam's mother. What's what's Cam's mother's name? It's like right on the tip of my tongue, but I can't think of it. She painted one of the pictures. I, I saw that on there. So if you haven't seen the mermaid book, you can order it now. I'll just flip through it really quick. So I want to cut this up and I'll put it in my um, journal, probably one of my Jane Davenport that has a lot of mermaids on there. I love this one with the big jellyfish bottom. Denise. Oh, my gosh. Thank you. I could not remember Cam's mom's name. Denise. She actually painted one of these on um, Dee Dee Willingham's uh, channel. You can watch her on In Inky Well here on YouTube. I love, that. I love the tail, the way it goes all the way scrumbling around. I like it, too, because it's not a lot of details, although this is a lot of details on this one. But some of them are not so bad. Yeah. I forget the one she did was close to the end of the book. I, don't, I thought it was, like, right at the end here. It was one of these girls. Is it this one? One of these girls, anyway. But that's her new book that just came out with mermaids. So you can see that there. And that's by Camille, Camilla, Derecchio. So to get that. And I got this other one. If you watch Stephen Law, The Fish on Top. Yeah, I knew it was one of them. And I um, had seen her paint it for a while. And then um, I just didn't see the whole thing. And then I love this one, Stephanie Law. If you haven't seen her do her watercolor, she puts a lot of gold watercolor, um, gold foil and stuff on her. Um, she just came out with this succulent dragons book. Oh, I love this book. So I want to put this on. Um, I think you could, oh, this is it's thick, but I don't know if you could do watercolor on it. But I'll put these on watercolor. But each page has a different little dragon, so the back, so that if you did want to paint that, you know, you wouldn't ruin like the next page. Oh, here, I'll show you from the beginning. Patty showed her, too. She, um, she's the one that has the little round palettes that are coming out in November for watercolor. It's like a travel palette. So there's that. And each one has a tiny little dragon, or she has some fairies in there. I don't know when I set up YouTube uh, that my camera is so far away. Let me see if I can zoom in a little. I couldn't move my camera last week, and I don't know why. So let's see if I can move it now. Yeah, it goes right to the top. <laughs> what is that? Oh, there we go. Actually can move it. Let 
right there. It's a little close. No, it is just really closer. Well, I don't know why. When do you go to Maryland? I go to Maryland on the 25th. Jean, why is it that uh, my camera, I can't move my camera at all? It's like once the, the YouTube goes live, then that's it. I can't move my camera. There has to be a setting somewhere on YouTube, but uh, I couldn't find it. I tried to find it before. Let me see if, um, let's see, can I do that? No. Nope. nope. It's really so far away. Oh, that's really far away. <laughs> it's like I have those two settings, that and that. I wonder if I have to bring my I have to bring my camera down next time. So that's the closest I can get it for tonight. So I'll have to just try to braise my camera down. Um, I have to move too many stuff to do it now. But so anyway, this is her dragon book. And she has a YouTube on that. So if you guys are interested, um, she has a YouTube channel, Stephanie Law. You can see that. Yeah, a lot of the girls are leaving, going Tuesday. The class really doesn't start till Wednesday. Um, and so a lot of them are going early because Patty invited us to a barbecue at her house. So... We're going to be doing that first. This one's kind of tedious. Some of these I don't know if I'll do completely. <laughs> this is not too bad. But I love the um, her, water, her watercolors, how she uses the gold. So that's this one, Succulent Dragons, Stephanie Law. All right. So let's see. Maybe we will watercolor the flowers first, and then we'll... We'll go on to this. So let me move this here. And I want to get my little Frida girls, which I left in the other room. So let's do this first. So let's see which ones do we want to use. Let's see. Are you taking any of his classes, Ella? I mean, are you going to do any of his... Um, the fall tags. Did you do the fall tags? Oh, this they're very so nice. Uh, very very nice Sue. <laughs> she gave me that. I wore it today because I see my nephew who loves the mermaids, so I'm kind of all mermaid out today. <laughs> my earrings are mermaids. <laughs> all right, so I have three of those. I have one of these, three of those, and two of these. So I want to see. We should do one or two or three. Thinking of just putting, I have the Frida girls, so I'll have to go go get those. Hi, hey, Dorothy. <laughs> oh, at last you were found. <laughs> uh, he's about three hours from you, uh, so they want to take some classes. So that's good. That'll be fun. And he's so nice, too. So, All right, something I want to do, some like type of little vignette here and something over there, and then the watercolor in between. So let's see. Maybe we'll do this. I don't know if I'll, I don't think I'll use these. I'll just use the big flowered ones. That. That. So we'll color these. Let me get a paper towel. They also take, oh, they want to take his cruise. <laughs> Where's the cruise go? Up to Alaska? We'll work on the green first, the greenery. So I'm also going to spritz these. Uh, you don't know about the creams. <laughs> I'm just wetting these down a little. I haven't really done much watercolor, I don't think. Have I ever done watercolor on here? All right, so I'm going to put my palette this way so I can see the, what I'm doing. Jean's getting really good. I love her, um, the way she does her bottles. That's a hard thing to do, Jean. <laughs> she does it well. All right, so let's see. Let's do this green here. And I put it here. I'm going to do the leaves first.
Gabby. Oh, thanks. Yeah, we went to the bridal shower. Um, these are uh, this week. Food was really good. Oh my gosh, the food was so good. They had little appetizers. They were like uh, cheese rice balls, and then they had these little crab cakes. They were tiny, but they were so good. And then she loved. They loved the globe. Everybody loved the globe that I made. Oh my gosh, it was good. <laughs> There's the Mediterranean. <laughs> what was that? I missed it. Oh, the Mediterranean they're going to. Oh, wow. That's nice. So you don't think you'll go to that? <laughs> now, let's see. Let's take go. Uh, let's take this. Oh, thanks, Joan. Yeah, everybody loved the globe. And when the, everybody signed it, because there was about mm, 22 people. And then once everybody signed, because they put a big message, it wasn't like they just signed their name. And so it really kind of filled up the globe and it looked really good. <laughs> Uh, you're moving. Are you going, moving where? You want to go to Sunday. What is that? That must not be the right thing <laughs> next year. <laughs> oh, Charleston. Okay, <laughs> Charleston. Uh, to be near your mom. Oh, that's nice. Hi, Katrina. Yeah, so if you're just watching over on YouTube, you can just fast forward till I finish coloring these, and then we'll get on to the journal page. The only thing I don't like about YouTube Live, I have to say, is that I can't do the pre-chat. Well, I used to come on like 15 minutes early and actually pre-chat with everybody, and then do stuff like this so that it would be already done. Um, but you can't. Once you hit the live button, then that's pretty much it. You're live. <laughs> so that is one thing that I do miss about the YouTube. I mean, you stream. All right. So I'm just going to color these pretty fast. Oh, that's good. This is watercolors. I have all different things in here. I have um, Daniel Smith. I have um, Holbein, Schminky. Um, I'm trying to think of what else I have. In. I think I have one Windsor Newton in here. But this is a palette that's from Irit, um, and I can't remember her last name. I should have wrote it down. But she's on YouTube here, and you can actually see her um, her palette. So I actually have a palette set up like this, like hers, and then I have one like Jane's um, Burke. He's got it more into like blues and browns. So I have that palette um, kind of set up. Since I have the water color tubes, um, it's just easy for me to set up um, a couple of different palettes. Before you go, you're buying it. You're buying an RV and traveling the country. Wow, for a year? That's really nice, Stella. You'll have to come and visit me. Are you just doing just like everything, the East Coast, or are you just doing like just till you get to your mom's?
All right. So what kind of flowers should we make? Maybe I'll do these as roses. Really like this hot pink, and I want to use that in the background. So let's use this kind of lighter one here. Although these, may, no, I think these are roses. I think those might be, I don't know, magnolias maybe. <laughs> Oh, you haven't picked a route yet? Hopefully, oh, I'll be in Florida. <laughs> so then you'll come to Florida. That's a lot of uh, moving. So will you have your scrap room on the RV? Like, how are you going to um, do your art? What area? Uh, um, we really like the West Coast, so we do want to go back to, uh, we haven't been really to St. Augustine, and they said that's really pretty. So um, we want to check that out also. And then we'll probably make our decision after that. But now Gabby wants to leave um, out of New York City, and she wants to move maybe to Portland. <laughs> so... That's all the way now on the West Coast, so it's like, ugh, we have to make up our mind. <laughs> but yeah, she's tired of the city. And truthfully, with all the things that crazy things that go on with the subways and people getting pushed and it's terrible, I would really rather have her out of New York. <laughs> no scrap room. What color Irish for little things like that? Oh, to keep. A, oh, and the journal. Well, that's good. No scrap room, that would be hard. <laughs> Pink. Yeah. You're near St. Augustine? Yeah, it's a very pretty area. It's kind of expensive though, right? You haven't really looked around there. I go by the West Coast, then I'll be close to Eileen. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Oh, not in the RV. <laughs> Oh, he's already retired. Just July was that May it was a year that he retired already. But now with my upcoming operation, so that kind of puts a, a wrench into the whole thing. So figure I'll be laid up until I'm thinking I'm going to be having it in September now. So that's December, January. So then I would have February, March to actually like get the house like ready maybe to sell for April. So, so we'll see. <laughs> We'll have to see. Everything kind of like in the mix. All right, so I have pink. Should I go with um, maybe some yellow? What do you think? Yellow. Let's try this. I really like this bright yellow. I don't have too much palette, like too many. She doesn't have really a lot of yellow on here. So let's see what we can come up with. He used to work for um, the electric company. So uh, that's in here. It's called Jersey Central Power and Light. 
Now, my nephew just got a job there, and we were just talking to him while we were at my sister-in-law's, and he really loves it. He was a tree climber, though. I mean, he loves climbing trees, and so he works on the poles. So he really, he's really liking it. Hello. I'm going to go with this one. Hello. Have, oh, that's terrible, Elizabeth. Yeah, yeah, I'm having it. Um, probably September. I'm probably think the end of September. I have to have some dental work done. So I'm working on that first. Um, so we'll see. See what happens. All right, that, and then maybe we'll put some purple on there. Yeah, that's terrible. Neck and sur neck and knee surgery. Having them both done at the same time. Ooh, it's rough. Oh, thanks, Ella. <laughs> I have no idea what color these flowers really are, but <laughs> that's what they're going to be for tonight. <laughs> And if I had more time, it probably would be a little bit more, but I'm just going to spend all night here while I'm just coloring flowers. And then I can always go over it later, too. Vacation to St. Augustine's and we talked to Disney up stayed in uh well that's nice. Yeah, I'm the only one that loves Dis uh Disney. <laughs> Gabby and Jimmy, they both hate Disney. When Gabby was little, I had her whole room filled with um <laughs> Minnie Mouse. Oh my gosh, she hated it. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> So I always tease her. I say when she's getting married, the only thing I'm going to pay for is a Disney wedding. <laughs> so she can only get married in Disneyland. <laughs> then I threaten her I was only doing a Disney mini album for her. <laughs> I mean, Jean says I mean. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, they just don't like it. She, I'm not a ride person either, but I do like the just looking at all the the different things and uh, I like the shows and that kind of stuff. But yeah, they were never into it really. <laughs> Oh, you did? You like Bush Gardens more than um, Disney? Well, I really like, well, the one place she probably would go is, um, what's the other one? Universal Studios for Harry Potter, because she does love Harry Potter. All right, one more, and then we'll do those little flowers. And now they have the train running. When I went there, they didn't have the train running. So we'll pull the yellow. No. Um, So, yeah, so now I don't know how it is. So I think I went there like the first year. It might have been the first year it was open. Yeah. Oh, you liked it? Yeah. Disney was fun, she says, but she liked Bush Gardens better. <laughs> All right. All right, what should we do with these little ones? Uh, purple. She does have a lot of purples in her palette. I really like, let's do this one. Oh, my God. 
mix that in with the yellow, which of course gave me brown. You'd just rather go on another cruise? Yeah. If I had little kids, I would love the Disney, um, the cruise. Oh, I missed that one there. Let's go back to that. I've never been to Bush Gardens, so I don't know how that's like. They do have one on the East Coast, too, don't they? First off, my nice uh, tan. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know what it is, too? When I'm driving in the sun, I get so dark with my hands um, just from that. Because my legs, I look like two different birds. If you saw my legs compared to my hands, oh, my God, my legs are, like, so white. So I'm just going to do these real quick. I can always go back and recolor them. It's just I don't want you guys, like, watching me all night just watercolor flowers. We can work on the backgrounds. That's good enough for now. That one's good. This one I have to just do the other flower. Good. Good. All right. So this one, just, I'm gonna put this one is a pink flower, yellow. Oh, you have a wildlife park there in Nova Scotia? She says she went rode on uh, elephants and uh, what else? Giraffe. You saw the giraffes. We have, um, what do you call it, um, Six Flags. And we have like a little wild uh, life where they have the giraffes. I don't think we have elephants. All right. Do that then. Now, just I'm gonna go get my other uh, Frida stamps, so I'll be right back. So just talk amongst yourself, and if you're watching on YouTube, just fast forward through this part. I'm gonna get my Frida girls. I can't find that to stamp them again. Darn it. Hold on. I'm just gonna have to stamp them in because I have no idea what I did with the with the bag. Darn. Just stamp them on here. Get watercolor paper. <laughs> Which I don't have either. Hold on. Okay. 
All right, I'll have to stamp them on this. Um, this is bee paper. I've never tried this bee paper, so we'll see what the difference is. I know James Berkey says that um, he prefers this paper over anything. It's pretty much what he uses only now. Let's get this open. Oh, there is a Bush Gardens in Virginia. I thought there was. So let's stamp this really quick. Lots of ink. You like the bee paper? Yeah, Sharon? Yeah, I haven't tried it yet, so we'll see what it's like. I think we're going to do one of each of these girls. You like it because it's smoother? It seems like it's smoother. More like um, hot press, kind of. Oh, this is, uh, what do you call it? It's not the right ink. It's nice for watercolor, yeah. I don't have a block. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to put her on here like this. Hopefully that comes through. <laughs> yes, it does. Let's just cut her out. I'm going to do this one. So this is uh, Dana Wakeley's um, homage to Frida. See that there? And then so next Sunday, um, I'm not sure. Um, you'll have to just check uh, Twitter and Facebook because on Saturday I'm going to New York to Kramer and actually um, take a class doing their watercolor classics, I think it is. Um, with Amalia, if you guys know Amalia from Maryland, um, her and I are going to take the class together. So, and then I'm not sure if I'll stay at Gabby Saturday night and then come home Sunday. So, we'll see. Just keep posted. So, it'll be fun. So, I'll actually get to go to Crema twice. So, um, oh, the Saturday before I leave for Maryland... And then I'll be only be on stream next Wednesday, but then the following Wednesday I will um, record from from Maryland and uh, tell you guys show it uh, what we've done. I think we do anything. Oh, I think Wednesday is Patty's class, so I'll always share that. Usually I'll try to come on between. Oh, on Sunday you'll be flying to Maryland. Now that's good. Oh, Debbie, you'll have to try to come next year. Um, I'm going to try to, I usually try because we go to dinner. So from like six to seven and then everybody's back like around seven 30 or whatever. So I usually try to stream around eight. So it's about a half hour, hour later than when I stream now. So, um, 
So that's always fun. And hopefully there's no thunderstorms. I think I could only stream once last year because, uh, yep, two trips, <laughs> two trips to Creamer. Yeah. Yeah, I took Gabby back to the ferry today, so it was really crowded. So we're taking the same ferry, the 330 ferry. So I hope it's not that crowded when we um, when we go. <laughs> Patty will have a, a card load. And then um, Tammy and I are sharing a hotel room. And then I think Cece's going, Joan's going. I don't know who else. Jan, I think. Yeah. All right, so let's color these really quick. So let's do her skin. So I'm going to go with this for her skin. Off. There you go. You are looking forward to creamer. Me too, Joan. <laughs> And let's drop a little pink in there for her lips. I mean, for her, her cheeks. The hard part is though, because we're gonna, um, they'll be taking the ferry back and you'll we'll have wet watercolor. That's gonna be the hard part is bringing that back home for you guys. Cause I'll just go right to Gabby's that night and um, I'll be good. I can leave it over there at her house, but for you guys, it's going to be hard. All right, let's do some green for her leaves. Hi, Kia. Oh, Kia, I have a proposition for you. You know the mermaid little doll you made me, the knitted one? I want one for my nephew's baby. So we'll have to get together. So um, if you sell them, I don't know if you do sell them. I hope you do. But pop up the same size as the one you made me would be cute. It just can't have like the buttons and all that because if she puts it in her mouth, you know, that stuff. Yes, Ellen, yep, we're going to learn uh, watercolors. Yep. Although on the, um, the classic is... Um, I think what I'm learning with Amalia and then when we go with Patty and Cece and them, um, it will be uh, the pearlescence, more metallic. So, <laughs> yeah, it'll be cool. All right. Uh, I think pretty much the same colors that you made me um, would be good. But I'll, I'll um, tweet you and so we could talk about it. <laughs> All right. So let's just do some brown hair for her. This is brown or this is gold, any brown. It's the only thing about this, her palette, she really doesn't, I did stick a brown in here just so I would have it. Well, I say magical watercolor set, I will say. Oh, they did, They do they work, Debbie? Debbie Epps, she, um, took magicals and made watercolors out of them. Do they work, Debbie? I saw her do it, but I, um, I think she needed them to set up. And so. They work perfectly. Oh, wow. Did you stream it already? I'll have to go look. So Debbie Epps is here on YouTube, too, and you can watch her. All 
Oh, did some with just Arabic. So she, oh, she mixed it with gum, Arabic. Uh, not magicals, but pigments. And it was not, oh, it was not successful. Where did the images they come from? Oh, hi, CB. These are, uh, these two are, you know, Dina Wakeley's Frida. And then these are Christine Adolph's um, flowers. Um, she came out with them from Prima. So that's this one. The fresh flowers. This one is Daisy May. And this one is Florabella. I haven't used them, so I'm trying to use stamps that I haven't used <laughs> and uh, try to use that. Let's go with turquoise for this. So I figure I pull these out first, and then next week or Wednesday, we'll work with the Marlene uh, stamps that I got. Oh, I forgot to do our neck. Yeah, they're pretty, aren't they? I really like them. Like I said, I haven't used them, and I'm pretty sure they've been out for like two years. All right, so we can put the watercolors away. And I only just barely, like, just colored them quick because I didn't want you guys watching me color all night long. All right, so we have that all ready. It's good enough for tonight. And I'll go back and, um, like, recolor and color pencil them and that kind of stuff. All right. Well, could you have old magicals? Yeah. So, yeah, you'll have to, um, I'll have to check that out. Did she say if she painted something with them? Or uses them a bit on Thursday to stream and swatch? Oh, okay, so I'll have to go back and watch. All right, so I did get some stencils out. Let's see what I have here. I think it's only fair we use this one. This is kind of like a Frida one. <laughs> the stencil is the TCW one. And does it say what it is? I got this one a Tuesday morning. Naturalpigment.com is the website. The website for, oh, for the medium that you used to create your um, magicals. So let's do that. Um, let me see what else I have here. I want to use these. I wanted an overall. Let's do this one. So this one is all in create, and this one is number 13. <laughs> Doing that crooked. So we'll use this too. And then I took out some of my dilution sprays. So let's see. And I didn't put any gesso on these pages, so I want to see what how it takes the watercolor. So I think I've only just gessoed most of these pages. All right. Jill, did you see in my I um, finished a wedding wedding album that um, I did for the bridal shower, and I used some of your um, your cutouts in there in there so thank you for that <laughs> all right so let's see what choice i'm gonna start off with yellow first so this is a dilutions lemon zest so i probably should wear gloves i should put my oh i should put my Magic gloves on before. Gloves in the bottle. It's just to help the ink come off easier. It doesn't really, it's not like a barrier or anything like that. Probably should take off my ring. <laughs> Thank Joan. She's so good. <laughs> I bet you and Paul have been like cutting out like a storm. <laughs> she always cuts out for Maryland. All right, and I'm just gonna stick this in another page for now. 
And this will reactivate when I put the watercolors on here. So this one is a fuchsia, funky fuchsia. So, oh, now my hands are greasy. <laughs> the watercolors were set with glass, oh, with the glass Mueller uh, medium and pigments for 140. Oh, that's good to know. All right, so I think I'm gonna use this one with the hearts. So let's see, I'm actually gonna do that. I'm gonna put this one here. Let's see how that is. All right, so let me, I'm gonna put this one on another page. Let me get my heat gun out. So heat gun. <laughs> Joan's looking for a date, for what? wanted another stencil which I can't find but I guess I'll have to use so this one is the number 10 all in Cree all right so I think I'm going to actually do this with the this aqua I don't have open. Let me see if I have another one that's open. I think I do. Just hold on a second. <laughs> This one, Calypso Teal, we'll use that. Let's open. I'm gonna squirt this. I'm gonna use this side here. So I'm going to dry that, and I think, let's squeeze just a little yellow one here, this blue. Let's see what that does. All right, so I'm going to do heat gun again. I really want this to be more pink and pastel-y, so I'm going to have to spray this with some white. I'm going to get my white out. This white. Let's 
You were at Dee Dee's. Where was Dee Dee? Clean out of drawer and stamps of support. Oh. What was Dee Dee doing? Selling stamps? <laughs> what stamps did you just buy? So this is too bright. It's not exactly what I wanted. So we're going to tone it down. Oh, my poor little kitty is all I gotta get. get stuck on there. I have to move. I have these little jars of pens and stuff, and they're getting all... Um, Full of ink when I do like spraying and stuff. I've got to move them somewhere else. I bought a bunch of uh, Lavita stamps. Lavinia? Whose stamps are those? I don't recall seeing that. Lavinia stamps. All right, so I'm going to spray this now with some white. Tone the whole thing down. They're from the UK. Oh, they are. We got to send me a link. Hide that on me. All right, so that's a little bit better, right? So let's dry that. So he can. <laughs> hey, Patty. <laughs> we were just talking about Marilyn before. I went to drop Gabby off at the ferry today. The 331, that's the one that we'll be taking. It was jam-packed today. But it could have been because it was raining here, and so people left early from the beach and stuff. So I'm hoping it's not like that when we get on. <laughs> I can't believe I leave for Kramer next Saturday, Patty. Yep. Come up quick. And then Marilyn's like next week. <laughs> oh, it still looks pretty bright on the monitor for you guys, but it's pretty, it's not that bright. I have to go back over this with a little just so here. Yeah, we need to make that fairy is right. <laughs> yeah, we got there at three, at three, and um, it was, I mean, we still got on, but it was pretty full. <laughs> she got on, but it's full. All right, yeah, next week. So next Saturday, um, Amelia and I will go to Creamer. And then I'll leave Tuesday to come to your house. I have to get my stuff together. I haven't even done that yet. <laughs> oh, gosh. Some more white on here, I think. I think you want to stamp this because this is going to be pretty busy in here in the background with this. So let me get some gesso out. White gesso. This might be Dina's. It's okay. What are we making? Um, the cla I think it's called the classics. Oh, I need a brush. 
I think it's just the basic. I think it's, is it 14? I can't remember how many we do. Um, but. This is like way too bright for what I want to do. <laughs> Well, so, yeah, 14, that's what I thought. Yeah, 14. And most of this color is going to come right back up anyway. So we'll see how it goes. Now, this might become out to be a hot mess. <laughs> not for the page I was imagining. I really thought this was a lighter pink, not this big bright fuchsia pink, but pretty bright. <laughs> Will likely cost more than she in California. Oh, thanks, Eileen. <laughs> pretty bright though, compared to compared to what I did earlier. <laughs> what I want to put on this page, I don't think it's gonna work. I have to just go with white and black on here because this color is going to keep coming through because it's dilutions. So I'm thinking else. What else can I put on here? That. Because that is not going to work. It's just too busy to background. You know what I might have to do is put some doilies. I might have to get some doilies on here. Just add a little bit more of this. <laughs> well, it's getting toned down little by little. Oh, what? Teach the rest of us? Oh, right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I wish CB was going too. She can't go. All right, that's getting better. All right, talk among yourselves. I think what I'm going to have to do is put some white doilies on here to get rid of some of this. <laughs> so hold on. I'll go get those. Okay, back. Maybe I put some black stamping on there. Oh, that's a good idea. Maybe I will. All right, so let's see what do I have here. That's one. We did one on this side. And then put the flowers on here like this. I think that will be all right, yeah. So let me see if I have another heart-shaped one, hopefully. 
Hopefully I do. to circles. Still looking. Hold on. I have this one. I have these, but I really like that other one better. I think I only have one of those hearts. that I guess. I really like that heart though. Maybe I'll have to do that and we'll do a circle. <laughs> Maybe we could just do the one. Let's see what we're doing here. If I come across all the way across and we just do that one side. I think that's what we'll do. And that will tone it down. All right, so let's do some printing on there first with some black ink. Kind of messy for Jean. What is thinking about some way? Oh, the magicals. Did you see, um, Patty, that Debbie actually did? Um, she swatched her magicals and they work great, she said. Anyone. I have that. I also have. Try this. I might try this big butterfly on here. Hi, Heather. Oh my gosh. Hi. Morning. <laughs> morning for Heather. We didn't even put any watercolors on here yet either. Rearranged your laundry sheet ah, for better setup. There you go. I'm dropping everything. Just want to make sure I got any gesso off of there that I had might have had. I'm gonna dry this so I can um, make sure I don't have gesso on my stamps. So he can. <laughs> I didn't even put the watercolor. Uh, the whole purpose I did the watercolor, I wanted to do watercolor on this before I put gesso. And I wanted to put the gesso on here anyway. <laughs> well, it took five days for them to set up, Debbie. Talk about our watercolors from uh, Magicals took five days set up before she could actually use them. That's cool. I'll have to go back and watch that. All right. I'll have some black. Let's 
Let's see, do I have a, a block here I can use? Hopefully. <coughs> I think that's upside down. Yes, it is. <laughs> Actually, I think I'm not going to use a block. I think I'm just going to push this down. Should be good enough. What else can we put on here? <clears throat> we were able to get Prima's Metallic and Parents College to move. Oh, to move on the UPO. I saw that. That was good. Oh, thanks, Eileen. She likes the stamp edition. <laughs> that was a good idea. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Let's see what other things I have here. I didn't really bring a lot of stamps. I didn't plan on like stamping. <clears throat> this one's a little primo one. Let's see. Like that one. Well, let's see what I have here. This one is uh, Blue Fern Studios. I don't know what the name of this one is? Serenity Medley. This one's pretty. I like this one. Let me go do this. I like the little postage stamp and the butterfly there. What is that? <laughs> Thanks, Heather. <laughs> is it getting cold there? Right? It must be cold there now. Wednesday, we'll fool around with the Marlene stamps that I got. 
All right, that should be good now. I have another watercolor book, so maybe we'll try we'll try the watercolors on Wednesday. All right, so I think I'm definitely gonna. Um, I wish I had another one of these, but this is good enough. All right, so let's glue this down. Glue stick. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah. How is Oak? Because they were asking, how is Oakley doing since his attitude adjustment? <laughs> Poor Oakley. I didn't hear him. I saw him picture today, but I didn't hear him talking today. Was he talking? All right, so we have this. That one. <laughs> Let's see which breed of girl are we going to use. We use this girl. The other girl. <laughs> Those. Oh, it's cold, yeah. You're halfway through it, yeah, so it's going quick. Oh, that's good. I think I like this girl here. So like that. That will cover that. And then we'll move on to this page where you can add the others on this. What do you think? Might be too much. We still, I think, need to cover this side. Let's see if I put another white doily on here. I wanted to use June's little ones that I have here. <clears throat> oh, thanks, Ellen. You like the colors? <laughs> They're pretty bright. They look a lot brighter on the screen than they do here. I'll stick the tone the page down with this. It's a lot like Mojo he does. You guys will be excited to meet him, right? <laughs> Although I think he's going to be too excited. You know, that's a lot of flowers. <laughs> this side's really bright. What can we do to tone this side down? Oh, let's see. Where is my doilies? Joan, she does have the best dyes. <laughs> like I said earlier, she must be die cutting her and Paul. <laughs> die cutting like crazy for Maryland. All right, let's see. If I cut this and that, let's see what that looks like. I do one here. I'm almost thinking I want, I don't know what I want. <laughs> it's too bright. I didn't want it that bright <laughs> in the background. I really wanted it more pastel y like. <laughs> Maybe like that. Maybe this one behind her up here.
So what do you think about that? Just add gesso to the pink area. I can't. It's just going to come through because it's delusions. That's the problem. Unless I put, oh, you know what I could do? I put matte medium over it, and then we can put the gesso. That's what I'll do. I'll add some matte medium on here. And where is my matte medium? That's what we can do. Oh, I'm almost all out of this one. <laughs> Eileen says, see what Pissy Pink does to your page? <laughs> oh, my gosh. I really just need it over this part. All right, so he gone again. <laughs> he gone. <laughs> Bye, Ella. <laughs> Thanks. wrong pink. I really wanted the lighter pink and I didn't realize that the future one was that dark. So, this is how to fix it. That's all. <laughs> you don't like pink either, Heather? Oh my gosh. That will take care of it now. Let's see. <laughs> Where is my gesso? Yes, <laughs> it worked. But I don't want my butterfly covered. I need another white wipey. Blue dictionary paper. <laughs> yeah. The matte medium worked. It's fine. I just don't want to cover my butterfly up too much. That's much better. All right, so let's glue this down. I definitely want to glue her down. Could I have dictionary paper on here? I could. Yeah, that helped. Yeah, matte medium. I mean, you still see the pink coming through, but it's not as bright. <laughs> that color is woo, bright. All right. All right, I'm going to this down. I have to be careful because of this seam here. So we'll do that. I actually think I'm going to use um, pepper cap for this. Ah, there goes my heat gun. It's not really staying down. So let's use that. Much better. I 
Julie? <laughs> This. I just want to make sure that this isn't So there we go. <laughs> Slip the center here. And I'm not going to glue it all down. I'll have some of it sticking out. Oh, there we go. I'll have to glue that one down, though, because it's right in the spine, kind of. All right, so now let's see how this looks. <laughs> That. I think that looks good. Then I could put some type of title there. Sorry, so let's glue that down to cut this off. Oh, thanks, Julie. <laughs> it was a hot mess before. <laughs> it's looking better now. <laughs> oh, and this one is going to go like this. Oh, that's good. This one. Here we go. Now you have to come up with a title for me. <laughs> I think what I'm going to do is, where's my pen? Oh, let's see, my foosball pen. I have a Sharpie, but I don't want that. Um, okay, for my foosball one, where is that? Anybody see that? That's nope, that's not it. I have, and of course, I cannot find that one. What's this? Spell that pen. That's not going to work. Oh. And I probably have like 50 million of them. <laughs> of course, I can't find one. To use my sharpie. I really didn't want to use it, but <laughs> I have to use it. Let me go around here. Kind of crooked, huh? <laughs> Oh my gosh, I wanted to stitch the wedding album that I did that I have posted on YouTube. I did that in two days. Of course, it doesn't have a lot of flips and stuff, but she's not really a scrapper, so that works out just fine for her. 
Um, just doing some markings. Um, but I started it, I started it Friday, no, Thursday, and finished it like Friday night, <laughs> 12 o'clock, like at night. But I wanted to stitch some of the pages, and yeah, that was not happening. I was lucky to have it done in time. All right, so I have a little trim around. Let's see what else. We should do some doodling and stuff like that. I really don't want to do with this pen. I want my blue ball pen. Oh, mine, mine, mine. All right, so let me try it with, um, I hope I don't ruin this pen, my Epic pen. It's a little bit thinner. The, uh, yeah, see, this, I don't know if it's going to work. Doesn't really like gesso. No, I'm going to ruin this pen if I do that. Let's see what else I have. Well, maybe one of these. This is the um, Muji, Muji Gel Ink Pen. Can you read that there? The Muji Gel Ink Pen. I got these off of Amazon. They're, Amazon. They're extra fine ballpoint pen. I'm going to try one of these. Oh, thanks, Jill. <laughs> it wasn't that good before. It's still kind of busy background. I really would like to knock the background down a little bit more, but oh, why doesn't this open? Oh. oh, there we go. All right, so let's see what this is. And this might not like gesso either. That's why I wanted the food bowl one. I'll just do some little X's here and there. It's so thin, too. You can't really see anything. You guys can't see anything. Don't forget, Prima Day is tomorrow. Oh, Prime Day is tomorrow, yeah. Let me see if I have any pens around. I really need that pen. <laughs> oh, darn, I don't want to do with this Sharpie. I'm still thinking how I can knock this background down. I know, Eileen, why don't you remind me some white splats would be good on here. <laughs> All right, let's try that. This is a Copic opaque white. And uh, let's see, I need a pen. What do you call it? Paintbrush, that's not too bad. Um, I'm gonna use that. Try this one. Hi, <laughs> yeah, Eileen's the enabler is right. I'm gonna put some big splats in here. And hopefully with the matte medium it'll it won't turn color, so we'll see. I wonder actually if I should maybe just do some white white circles. Oh, I'm looking for another paintbrush. I don't want to use my good watercolor brushes as a thing. Well, let's try this one, James. All right, where's my gesso? Pretty sure most of the group have um, Prime membership. I'm pretty sure. But like, what is everybody looking for tomorrow? Like, I wouldn't even even know what I would want. Oh, uh, we should be again. 
like I really don't need anything so why would I go on there I mean what are you guys looking for in uh, the prime tomorrow now these probably will change because it's uh I think that's cheap. <laughs> they offer deals and specials. Yeah. I mean, I have Prime, but I had Prime last year, and I don't even think I looked at it last year. Want a nice steam basket for your Instapot, a steamer. Oh. I'm trying to think of what I need if I need anything. Not really. All right, so we have that down. And I think I'm just going to put some big splats. Where's that stencil that I have with the splatters? One of these pages. Not that one. This one here. All right, so let me draw these and then we'll do with splats. And then I think that's pretty much it. Maybe I'll hit it with some gold. We'll see. All right, so heat gun. <laughs> you know, it's some Bluetooth headphones. Oh. Get some art supplies on Amazon tomorrow? <laughs> no way. <laughs> oh, you know what I want? I do want something. I'm looking for that um, punch that CC used to make the watercolor pad. What do you call that punch? That's got the... Um, it's a punch that does the... In and out pages like I don't know what you call that punch. I do want that. All right, so let's see if I can get I need a sponge. Books. <laughs> I was looking for books. I wonder if I did it with the um, ink. You think it'll come through the ink? Mombi makes a cheaper one. Oh, they do? Oh, I'll have to check it out. Yeah, so that's still going to come through. <laughs> it's just not going to work. Darn it. <laughs> I want it white. All right, I'm going to have to continue with my splats. <laughs> Oh, now look at that. I can do that on another page. Let's do that. Of that so that's good for another page I probably should do this with the yellow too <laughs> it's 
so much color left on that. Look at that. <laughs> Looks good as it is. <laughs> Thanks, Heather. I still think it's kind of bright. I'm just going to put the splats on it and then call it done. <laughs> All right, so let's try that. Last year you got a Fire 3. Oh, Amazon Fire 3 for the price of one. What is that, Fire 3? I have no idea what that is. <laughs> All right, so let's see what this looks like. Ugh, of course it's going all over the place. Oh, a tablet. Hmm. All right. I got that. I think I want to just see if I can throw in. I can put that in there now. Maybe do one of these things. I'm going to cut these up. And with this. One, two. You have it and you love it, yeah? Like it better than um, an iPad? Maybe I'll just do the two. One, two, I think that's what I'm going to do. All right, let's put that down. Let's check this. All right. The Instapot is an electric pressure cooker, but also a rice cooker. Oh, wow. So it's all in one. All right. So Wednesday we'll go, we'll try again with the watercolors. <laughs> oh, I did the wrong one. Well, I didn't do too good a job with the watercolors. Still kind of a busy background. So, well, live and learn. I should have put down that and then probably matte medium over the whole thing. Then I could have done what I wanted to do. But, oh, well. well live and learn, right? <laughs> Seems to work a lot better. I like the color. It's very bright and true. What's that? What do you like about it? Oh, the colors in her Fire 3 are very bright and true. Got it. All right, so I think, I don't think I'm going to add anything else. Maybe this one here in a corner. So Wednesday, we will try again with some watercolors. <laughs> and I think I'm going to work on a different book. I just got a new uh, sketchbook kind of like, so I'll do that. All right, so I'm going to call this done. Let me sign that. Where's my Sharpie? So today is the 15th. There we go. You like it? <laughs> Thanks, Dorothy. I'll bring it a little bit closer so you can see. So... I have to get used to the <laughs> oh, left. I gotta go left. <laughs> Did you um, stream yet, Patty, with your mani cam? 
I don't think I'm going to get it, really. I think I'll get used to it. <laughs> nope, the other way. There we go. So, not what I actually had in mind, but it's still pretty good. <laughs> oh, thanks, Eileen. Thanks, everyone. All right, so I shall see you on Wednesday. Of course, Dee Dee streams tomorrow. So check out those Prime, <laughs> Prime deals tomorrow. And thanks for watching, everyone. Oh, thanks. Perfect. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, you like the Manicam? Yeah. The, oh, that drives you back. And that's the backwards. Yeah, I don't mind it so much. But, yeah, I couldn't find the price or the link. So I'm just going to do without it. <laughs> Night, everyone. <laughs> yeah, it's best for you. I couldn't find the link, Gene, with the price. So maybe you'll have to send it to me again. <laughs> thanks, CP.